done some extensive searching of the Thurston area, including Thurston Lake, which is where she was last seen. I've got two unconfirmed sightings of Leah at the moment, so there's currently search activity now taking place in and around the Knoll Hill area, including Teardrop Lakes. So that's in Buzzy. We've got CCTV footage of her walking in the direction of work at about quarter past eight in the morning. Um, she seems completely normal while she's walking to work. She's got a black coat on and a usual rucksack. For all intents and purposes, it's her usual routine, walking to work. So that's one of our main concerns in this. Leah uh, is a heavy user of social media, but she hasn't used her bank, she hasn't used her mobile phone, and she hasn't used any form of social media since she's vanished. And we're concerned by that. This is entirely out of character for Leah, and her friends and family are very worried about it. So it's a missing persons investigation. We have an open mind, as with any missing persons investigation. What I really need is for the public to come forward with any information. If anybody's seen Leah, they've spoken to her, or they know somebody else that's seen or spoken to her, I need people to come forward and speak to us and get, give us some information. Also, we're appealing for people who ha might have CCTV footage or dash cam footage that are in the area of Thurston Lake, Knoll Hill, Emerson Valley on the morning of the 15th of February between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. to come forward. As with any missing persons inquiry, the public uh, will engage with us around it. So we've had uh, reports uh, of people seeing Leah that we've managed to prove actually weren't there. So I'm really grateful for the public and the help that they've given us so far. And I just want to encourage them to keep on calling us with any information they've got. So we're using all the resources that are available to Thames Valley Police. I've used specialist search officers, dogs, helicopters. Uh, we're doing numerous house-to-house -house inquiries at the moment with our neighbourhood officers. In fact, we've visited over 4,000 homes in the last week to try and glean some more information about Leah on the day of the 15th. 